I got the Art Deco print secondhand. So there were some water spots and I will attempt to clean it up and lessen the water spots on my new Art Deco Zip Zip Satchel. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. And thanks for joining me in the babe cave at the table. And yes, my voice sounds a little off because I'm finally, I think, towards the end of my sickness, COVID. And uh, this is the second time I've had it. It seems to be a little bit longer, I don't know. Um, but I'm doing okay. My voice is a little off, but other than that, I'm, I think I'm getting better. So, uh, yeah, the, the reveal is the Art Deco because I could not get this bag off of my mind and I didn't want to pay a lot for it. So I went the route of, uh, secondhand market and I decided to look at Close Mentor online and I usually don't. And I, I've heard other YouTubers suggest going over there and looking. And so I saw this and I have seen this in person at Dillard's when it first came out. And the colors are popping like they are on camera. It's a beautiful bag. And I know I sold a Zip Zip Satchel. However, I have another one now. But I'm probably not going to use the strap for it. There was, it, it came with the, the tags, however, they have used it. Um, the strap, I'm not sure they used at all. I didn't see any kind of water spots. So I, in this video, before I got sick, I did the cleaning and conditioning of this bag because of those water spots. So this is my intro to you all watching me clean up this bag and it has that vaquetta leather that's kind of untreated so there was some water spots I'll pop up pictures of those water spots right now so you can see what I got initially and do I regret not buying this from the website maybe a little bit <laughs> but I got a good deal I cleaned it up and I am going to roll that footage right now for you to see the different steps I did to make this beautiful once again. These are the products I'm using to clean up this bag, which is the water wipes, the Kiwi Saddle Soap, your Leather Care Conditioner, Apple Care with a soft microfiber or soft washcloth, and that's what I'm going to use to clean this bag. So I have just got a plain water wipe and I try to just get all the canvas, the outside. If you get it on the leather, it's not going to hurt it, but I tried not to get it on the leather. So I cleaned all the canvas on the outside. And then we move on in to the inside. The lining of this bag was pristine. There were no ink marks, no stains, no crumbs, nothing. So there was no dirt to get out of it, but I still like to clean the interior of the bags. Always, always condition the leather first. Do not put cleaning saddle soap on first. You always got to condition your leather before cleaning it because it will crack if you don't. So here I am conditioning all of the leather parts. <clears throat> Again, I hope the ultimate outcome is 
smoother finish, not so obvious water spots, and we will see if I accomplish that at the end of this video. But yeah, the ink spots, there's really nothing that can remove ink stains, so that's there forever, but again, the bag was pretty much in good condition. I just uh, had to clean and condition and hopefully get those water spots off. So finishing up the conditioning and I even conditioned the strap even though it really didn't need to. I'm not sure they even used that strap. I left the conditioner on for a whole day to let it dry and now we are finally at the cleaning stage and hopefully uh, see a difference after I clean the handles and again I'm using water wipes as my scrubber and then kiwi saddle soap is what I'm going to use to try to blend in these water spots. And you just take your water wipe out and apply your saddle soap. I put a good amount on there. And just start with the bottom is where I test first just to see how it's going to go. So I did test the bottom with the saddle soap first just to see if it's going to darken the Vaquetta leather or not and so I just did these bottom pieces first and then I let them dry overnight and I uh, soon you will see the Vaquetta really didn't darken once I compared the strap to the cleaned with saddle soap bottom here you see it dried perfectly fine using the saddle soap still has a mark on the bottom and but here you can see it really it darkened it a little bit but not too bad so this is when I made the decision okay I'm doing saddle soap on the whole all the leather parts <laughs> I always try to do a little test spot before I go ahead and do the whole bag. And I suggest doing that on the bottom if you can or somewhere where you don't see as much. Just so you know what the saddle soap baby wipe combo is going to do to the Vaquetta leather. And so it didn't darken it that much and I just went for it. So again, this is just getting all of the leather parts with the Kiwi saddle soap. I'm trying to speed this up so it won't be <laughs> super boring for you, but just make sure you get all the leather pieces. There was some on the side and then around the edge on the bottom, <clears throat> the handles. I gave a good layer on the handles that had the most water spots, so. The glazing was beautiful, nothing scratched or anything. There I'm getting the side parts that had a little bit of water spots on those. Finishing up around that little trim right there, getting that. And now we have let it dry another day. So that means we have to condition it another time. Always condition after you clean with saddle soap. You do not want dry, cracked leather. So it's condition, clean, condition. <laughs> Say it in your head. <laughs> condition, clean, condition. And soon... I let this dry another day, and then I think the day after that I ended up with COVID, so <laughs> that's what happens, you know, I 
wanted to really do a good video for you all on this amazing Art Deco bag. But then I got sick, so I'm piecing it all together right now. So now I've finished up conditioning every part of the leather. And we're now at the drying stage and the finish and reveal of this bag cleaned and conditioned. We have conditioned, then cleaned the leather, and then reconditioned one last time. And this is the final product that I, the straps, these handles had water spots. And they are a little less right now, so they, it kind of just blended them in more. And let me show you this side. You can still see a little bit here, see the difference. Um, so I figure the more I use this bag, everything will eventually be the same. But the, this uh, handle didn't come out great. And unfortunately, there's nothing that you can do on an ink spot. To get that out okay i turned on the flash because you can't see but there's the ink spot there's no way to get ink out of leather and uh yeah but then here you can see now that this has a little bit of water spot stains but not huge so i'm going to just enjoy this bag and let me show you the other side here's the handles it really did blend the water spots pretty good and the more I use it, I think that those will just blend in. I ha also had to do these little tabs. Here's those. And then the bottom, this one is perfect. And then this one had a stain and I tried to get it out. Obviously, it did not come out. But it's still, it's the bottom of the bag. Who really cares, right? <laughs> it's got the feet. The print is beautiful. And yeah, I'm going to carry this bag because it is a beautiful art deco piece. And just a tiny bit of regret that I'm sure they're going to go on sale and I could have got a pristine condition one. But I have this one now, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this cleaning, conditioning reveal of my Dooney and Berg Zip Zip Satchel. I did the best I could, and I really do think the more, you know, the oils of my hands, and it'll all come together. I'm also thinking about spraying some Apple Rain Guard spray. I can't think of the name right now, but I think I'm going to spray that on here. But I'm not sure, because if I spray it on there, it might not blend all of this. So I may just leave it as it is. I've conditioned it, I've cleaned it, I've conditioned it. I think that's all I'm going to do for this bag. <laughs> and uh, let me show you the inside. You know, the zip zip satchels are all the same, big wide mouths. It didn't come with the registration card, but there's the sticker. and Same as every other zip zip satchel, but yeah. I am going to enjoy my secondhand Art Deco bag. It has some flaws, but you know what? You're not going to be looking that close at my bag. <laughs> so, anyway, I appreciate you all for watching. I hope to be even better and not sound so nasally next time. But I wanted to get this video out for you all so you could see my new bag, new to me bag. And uh, if you don't mind, can you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. It's free. And I would love to have you on here. And the interaction in the comments is my favorite part. So I've made very good friends. And I recognize a lot of you down in the comments. So thank you again for watching. And have a great day or night or whenever you're watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.